people, how y'all doing? This is my second video that I, uh, I'm doing right now. I'm trying to put as many videos. Uh, I haven't been putting on my old account probably just for maybe about. I put some old videos on my old account. I do it every day. But since I have this new account, I just decided that I would uh, put more videos up on this account too. It don't make no sense to put, upload your other uh, upload videos and load the, the channel up with with videos on one channel all the time and does not load videos up on the other channel. It's like have it's like buying uh, different types of uh, items that you need in your house, like food items and stuff, and you you're you're using some of the items, but the other items you don't never use. It would be like a waste of money. So that's same that same thing applies when it comes down to my YouTube websites. That makes no sense to have all these websites or creep, you know, having these YouTube websites and not using them. So I'm going to use them. So this is probably about the 13th video that I done did over here. You know, uh, this video is basically about religious people do not listen. And uh, I just did another video about that. Uh, so far, I haven't. Uh, I guess. You would ask the question, what are the reasons behind it? It's because everybody has their own beliefs. A lot of people is passionate about their beliefs. I'm trying to find, like, speak the solution about why the reason why religious people don't listen, you know. Or uh, maybe some people, uh, you know, everybody believes differently, you know. It, it, it's supposed to be one God, you know. Now, I'm not a Christian. I'm going to say that now. I'm not a Christian. And I know a lot of people probably tired of me saying that, but I'm just being honest. I'm, I, I can't be nothing more than honest to you. But I just removed myself away from it. But I discuss religion. Or I talk about the Bible. I talk about Christianity uh, based upon, um, from a point of view of questioning it. You know what I mean? I, you know what I mean? Now, I know a lot of people say, well, you ain't supposed to question the higher power of God or whatever. You ain't supposed to do this. All you, you know, but... But then by that logic, then you wouldn't, there wouldn't be no need to study the Bible. Then what is the purpose of the Bible? The purpose of the Bible is like study, you, you're finding out about the God that you say you're supposed to be serving. You know what I mean? So that would be, that, that would not be logic according to, based upon my opinion. You know what I mean? It, it, it wouldn't make sense to do that. You know, if if you say that, then that means that, that just throws everything in the book that we claim we believe away. And that's the Bible. You know what I mean? A lot of people say you ain't supposed to question certain things. You ain't supposed to do this. and you ain't. I don't believe that's not true. Uh, but the reason why religious people don't listen, I'm trying to, let me see if I can, I hope this video makes sense when I go back and view it. Uh, for several reasons, you know what I mean? Everybody, like over the years, centuries, I'm going to say over the, not just over the years, but over, mainly over the centuries, years and years ago, just think before we was born, people was killing people over the Bible. They were, because you had some people that had such a great zeal. There's a difference between having a zeal. A, a zeal, I would say, mean you're passionate about something. But it does not mean that you can be walking, doing, doing things kind of mixture of wrong and stuff. You can probably think that you're doing it right, but you, down through the years, you have to come and you have to be corrected and be like, okay, I thought I was doing everything right, but I'm not really doing everything right. You would think that at that moment because you have some the powers that be out there in the world that can convince you of certain, uh, knows how to have the power to convince people to believe whatever it is that they want to believe. That's why it's good to study whatever you can, study for yourself so you know, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, uh, religion is one of the main things that's separated and dividing people. And uh, because of that, I don't think we know our religious history. I'm, I would say I don't know all of my religious history, you know, uh, because religion allows us to be um, to be blindfolded. Religion makes uh, it, it tends to make some people stupid. You know what I mean? Uh, it tends to make people not have, allow people is not to use common sense. Or have logic in certain things, you know, and that is a that is a lot of what's going on in it. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of people, when it come down to religion, they can't speak logical. They can't hold a logical conversation. Uh, people will uh, will go against certain things instead of looking for the logic. And yes, everybody can speak some truth. Yes, everybody does good things. You know what I mean? But you have to look underneath the surface because there is. A, I just got finished doing a video just a minute ago. 
how people can, uh, the first thing people recognize is your appearance. You know what I mean? The power of appearance is very powerful. People are not going to take time to look underneath the surface because they ain't going to know. All they're going to know is something good. You know what I mean? Because all what they see on the outside, they're like, wow, this person looks good. He looks good from the outside. She looks good from the outside. But uh, most people don't take time to, to use like, okay, well, look, let me use a little logic behind this here. Does this person have a respectful character? Does this person? A lot of people don't look at that. The first thing that they notice, oh, he looks so nice. He looks so good. He looks beautiful. Oh, you look nice with the suit you got on. Oh, you look nice with this. Oh, you look nice with that. Oh, you look this or you look that or you look this here. You know what I mean? But uh, most of the time, we don't take time to really actually listen. Like, okay, if I tell somebody, okay, listen to me. There's a danger. The person means well, but there's a danger underneath the surface that's leading people in the wrong direction. Now, a lot of people is not going to too much look at that. They're going to uh, be convinced by, for the most part, from what I have experienced from looking at, they're going to be more convinced based upon what the person is doing. You know what I mean? And a lot of us, and, and let's just tell the truth and let's just be honest, a lot of us is convinced by how much people can do. It's like Having the knowledge of knowing how to impress people is to believe in you. You know, you want somebody to believe in you. You want somebody to, um, to like, you, 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 you want to make yourself up to be this great person. I'm just using this as an example. You know what I mean? And you're doing all kinds of things is to make this person believe, believe in you, fully in you. You know what I mean? Once you gain the confidence of that within people, then that's what people see. They see the part about the M well, okay, this person here, okay. We live in under we live in a society where it's just based upon impressing people, you know what I mean? It's not really about, okay, let me check this out and see if the whole truth is there. Let me look for some logic in this here. I know this may be good, or this person may be doing some good things or whatever. Uh, in, or whatever. They may be doing some good things in Christianity or religion, but let's look a little deeper than that and look beyond. Is this person following 100% truth? You know what I mean? Is this person doing this or that? Now, I'm not attacking people now, but I'm just saying uh, most people don't take time to uh, okay, I understand the person is doing good. That's a good good, good of, of what he's doing, but let's take a look at underneath the surface. Is Let's look and let's see what's mixed up and what's wrong with with the danger underneath the surface. A lot of people ain't going to want to take time to do that because, I don't know, because they um, don't want to actually have this imaginary thought in their mind that this person could be bad. You know what I mean? People don't want to believe. It's like following a person your whole life. And it's like you find out years later that this person is this or that it's a very negative thing and when you hear it it would be hard for you to uh process this because you have been so used to seeing this person being a powerful person and gaining all these people. You know what I mean? And you don't want to believe nothing negative about people that people that you so looked up to. You see what I'm saying? You don't want you don't want to you don't want it you tend to like, no, don't say nothing bad about this person because all I can see is the good side of this person. You know what I mean? And you don't want to believe nothing else. You don't want to convince your heart and your mind that this is true. You know it's reality and true, but you don't want to convince your mind. It's the process that this is what I've been following all along. And I think that's the reason why a lot of people uh, probably don't want to, uh, religious people don't want to, uh, don't listen. You know what I mean? To a degree. I'm not talking, this doesn't go, goes out, it doesn't go out to all uh, people that are in Christianity. This just goes out to the, to basically to, if you feel that this applies to you or whatever, whatever, you know. But at the same time, even if it applies, but don't take it, I'm not trying to attack anyone. I'm just pointing out certain things that I see in Christianity that I don't like. That's all I'm doing. But I am in no ways attacking the person. I'm not doing that. I'm just trying to address this to the best of my ability. I'm not speaking negative about it or anything of that nature, you know. Now, I'm not the smartest person in the world when it comes down to Christianity or trying to break it down or trying to use all these different forms of technical and 
artiques and you know, like artiquing people. Some people are very good at artiquing people when it comes down to the Bible, but that doesn't necessarily it doesn't necessarily mean that that person is living it. It doesn't prove anything. It just means that they're very good at it, but at the same time, you have to look for logic in what this person is saying. I can sound good. I can I'm very I can be good at convincing people at doing it. You know what I mean? But the most important thing is is that you want to look for that person to speak a hundred percent logic. A hundred percent logic. Now, some of this, the problem with, 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 I would say, with religious people, when you speak or say that to them, it go, that part goes over their head, what I just said. And that's the reason why you, you become frustrated when you're talking with people that supposed to be of Christianity or that upholds the standards of Christianity. And you'd be like, okay, I'm confused now. The Bible is to, to, totally thrown out of the picture. It's like most people are not trying to hear that, not the Bible. They just say, oh well, oh, well, look, be quiet, I'm looking at this. Be quiet, I'm looking at that. Or be quiet, I'm, I'm just making up, just making up something. Be quiet, I'm looking at that. And you'd be like, okay, wait a minute. Hold it now. Hmm, I'm curious. The, but they leave it out the, the Bible, you know? And it would though, always pay attention to what you're listening to. That's all I'm going to say. This is what I would say to people of, uh, of faith or into Christianity or whether you fear, say you fear God or whatever, it's not for me to judge that, but I will say this here. When you're listening to somebody speak to you on Christianity, this, this is one of the main key words. Listen and pay attention to what you're listening to because you need to know what's going on underneath the surface. That's all I can tell you. I'm not the smartest person in the Bible or in Christianity or anything of that nature, but what I will, this is just me using my common sense to all of us. Let us pay attention to what's going on underneath the surface. And uh, most of all, whatever it is that you want to know about Christianity and the Bible and religion, I'll leave this with you all. Please do me a favor. Study for yourself. Don't take no one or nobody's word for nothing. Study for yourself. That's all I can tell you because I'm here to tell you that there are some powers that be out there that can convince you even even if you actually know what's right and what's wrong, it's still possible for you is to be or anybody is to be deceived. Whether it's in the church, whether you, you just can't just go by, just just study for yourself. That's all I can tell you. If there's anything that I've left out, then I'll come back and I'll talk to you guys a bit later. So until then, take care. I'm out.